Hi, I'm Tori from Canine Body Balance. In this video, we will talk about the game of tug. Tug is a popular game to play with dogs. It can be fun for both the handler and the dog. This high arousal game involves strong opposing forces as the dog pulls back on the toy and high accelerations as they thrust their head and neck from side to side. So let's look at two things to avoid when playing tug. Then I'll talk about how we can reduce the risk of injury when playing this game. So the first thing to avoid is releasing the toy whilst there is still tension on it. This poses a risk to both the handler and the dog as either one may fall back in an uncontrolled manner. The second thing to avoid is holding the toy up high so the dog's neck extends upwards. When the neck is extended and they either pull back or thrust their head from side to side, it puts the musculoskeletal system of the neck under much greater stresses and strains than when the neck is in a nice neutral position. So what steps can we take to reduce the risk of injury when playing tug? Number one, ensure that there is no tension on the toy when the toy is released. So it doesn't matter who wins the toy, just make sure that we take all that tension out before we release the toy. And number two, be mindful of where you're placing the toy. If we keep the toy in a neutral position or low to the ground, it helps keep the neck in better alignment. Now, if you have difficulty getting the toy low enough for your dog, you can try sitting in a chair or on the ground when playing tug. So have a go with your dog and tug safely by keeping the toy low to the ground and making sure there's no tension when you release it. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons below to help us bring you more content.